Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, we do. All right. All right. We're back, making money. Lightning round. The theme of today's lightning round, making money. The secondary theme of today's lightning round, mobile applications. Not just mobile applications. I know, I know you're, you're saying, Kramer, I've got a mobile application. Big whoop. That puts you on the same level of sophistication as my pet badger. My pet badger has a mobile app. It's a freaking jungle out there of mobile applications. It's not enough to just have one. How are you going to get customers to look at your mobile application? Why is it better? You got to optimize that baby. That's how you're going to make money. If you're not optimizing, you're losing out. And if you're losing out, that means you're losing money. Let's take our first caller. We got Eric from Mountain View, California. Eric, are you there? A big booyah to you, Brett. <laughs> nice. What's your question? We're developing a lot of applications on the Android platform, so I'm interested in app measurement for Android from the Omniture Business Unit. What can you tell me? Bye. 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 It's a little, little rusty. Um, yeah, the uh, app measurement platform. Great piece of code. That, uh, y y y what, what you do with this thing, you take it, you plug it into your mobile application, and it immediately goes to work, collecting data. Data, 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 a little more data. Mashes it all together in a big steaming ball of insight. You know it's powered by Omniture, it's good. What do you do then? Go in, log into your reports, and you can understand all kinds of things about your mobile application. Not just how many times is it being downloaded, but things like how much time are people spending on my application? Give me the next report. What kinds of actions are people taking? What are they doing? What features are they using? Or more importantly, what features are they not using? Next report. What, how many ads are they viewing? I've got a free app, but I still need to make some money. How many ads are folks viewing? Next report. Essentially, you can understand how every event, every interaction within your mobile application is contributing towards driving folks to whatever the goal of your application is. Booyah! But wait. Literally. Wait. That's not all. Yesterday, at Adobe Max, some Kevy guy announced that Air is now available on the Android platform. Now, the app measurement technologies have always been completely compatible with the Flash and Air technologies. What that means is that if you develop your application in Air, deploy it to Android, you're pretty much there. You're ready to start collecting that data, mashing it up, getting the insight. You're ready to make some money. That is awesome. <laughs> Next caller, we have Caspian from Narnia. Caspian, <laughs> what's your code? Hey, Brett, I'm looking at a slick piece of code from Adobe's Omniture business unit called App Measurement for iOS. What can you tell me about it? What can I tell you about it? Maybe just a little bit. I don't know if you were listening, but the iOS app measurement code is the close cousin to the Android app measurement code. In other words, all those great benefits we just talked about that you get from the Android app measurement, you get from the, from the uh, iOS app measurement code. You can understand, for example, what reports or which, which devices people are using, so you know which ones you need to support. You can even collect data about how people are using your applications offline. That is awesome. That's more awesome than a magic wardrobe. Magic wardrobe? Who are you? That's more awesome than a talking beaver. <laughs> Uber cool demo alert. Uber cool demo alert. Demo, that's right. What up? Let me show you what the, uh, what the geniuses at Adobe put on my iPhone. And yes, they are geniuses. All of them. Maybe one in particular might be more 
genius-ish and incredibly handsome. Hi, Mom. Yeah, okay, so Adobe customers are some of the most sophisticated in the world. They need to have metrics about what is going on on their website, on their applications, at their fingertips. To help meet this need, Adobe created the very creatively named Site Catalyst for mobile. Right here, you got metrics right at your fingertips. You got flippy over things. You got data tables, dashboards. Oh, hell yeah, dashboards. Forget about it. Now, that's all great. But the really brilliant thing that Adobe's doing is using their own app measurement technology inside of this mobile application to understand how their customers are using this application. So, for example, okay, this is a little bit mind-blowing. I'm going to show you on this iPhone how people are using the app on this iPhone. Recursion! Question number one, are people using the, the app in landscape or portrait mode? Portrait, overwhelmingly. Question number two, question number two, why does my iPhone not work properly? Boop, uh, that works for the, oh, I, I can't, we have no live studio audience. What are people most commonly doing? Is that text too small for your tiny little eyeballs? Good thing Kramer's here. I tell you, number one, viewing a report. Okay. Number two, swiping between reports. Number three, refreshing the reports. Now that's kind of a surprising. 22% of all the actions that people perform is refreshing a report. So what did Adobe do with this information? Well. First of all, since no one's viewing the reports in landscape mode and it's difficult to support, they said they cut that out altogether, focusing on things that are more important to the customers. Refreshing used to be buried in a menu, now just a simple double tap on a report will refresh. That, my friends, is mobile app optimization. End of Ubercool demo alert. All right, let's go to our next caller. John from New York, New York. Go ahead. Boom. What's up? We're using app measurement for iOS and app measurement for Android from the Omniture business unit. We're getting great data, but we want to act on that data as fast as possible to optimize our applications. What do you suggest? Question of the day. John, that is a good question. That is the question. That is the question of the day. Question of the day, not affiliated with day software. So you've got all this insight, you've got all this understanding, you pretty much know exactly how everybody's moving around through your application, what things are important. You gotta figure it out. What are you going to do about it? Well, could you take that back to your mobile developers? Could you have them rework the application, rebuild it, publish it, wait for it to be downloaded? Sure, you could. You could also build a fork out of toothpaste. But why would you? The answer here is to use Adobe's test and target application. By plugging your test and target into your mobile application, you have complete control over all the aspects of your application remotely and in real time. You want to change the navigation? Clickety-click. You want to change the content? Clickety-click. No problem. No need to get the developers involved. It's all up to you to do in real time. Even better, you're not sure which optimization might work out better? Test them side by side. Run that test. C, don't just guess. Oh, I think it would be A. No, test it. Even better, not all your users are the same. Some are going to like one thing, some are going to like another. Why not cater to each of their individual preferences? Why not take advantage of what you knew about them because of their last visit? For example, let's, let's bring up the report. If you've been to my, if you, you've used my app before, you've looked at jewelry, Bring up that report! Just so, okay, so for example, next one. I want to see the phone. There we go. 
If you've been to my site before, I know who you are. Hey, what's up, person? Hey, we know you like jewelry. Come and get some. Click. Or, hey, let's say you're in California. You like jeans? Sure, we know about that. Next one. Jeans are on sale. What up in California? By using Test and Target with your mobile application, you, you put your application in a continuous state of improvement. You can streamline, remove all the friction, increase engagement, and drive conversion. That gives your app the edge it needs. Thank you, John. Next caller. Nanya Business from London, England. Right, and Nanya, go ahead. Who you are, Brett? We do loads of mobile marketing, and it seems to be working just fine. I'm wondering, why do we need to bother with measurement and optimization? No! Sell, sell, sell! Nanya, I can tell just by listening to the sound of your voice that you are no doubt a very attractive woman, but... Clearly, you're not the crispest chip in the bag. Every single action your customers are taking on your application, every tap, every swish, every click, everything is telling you something. If you're not listening and optimizing the results to better meet their needs, I guarantee you, your competitors are. <laughs> Booyah, man, that guy gets me excited. Man, Whew. I am so excited about all the ways to make money off of content. Tell me about it. 